Hello. Hello, Christian. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Not too Good bad, to mate. Not too bad. It's lovely to speak to you. Where are you based at the moment? Are you still in the States or have you managed to get over to the UK yet? I'm in um, I'm in Amsterdam right now. I'm in the middle of tour. Oh, yes, that's right, because because I was reading that, because when you come to Green Man Festival, this is going to be the first of several dates in the UK for you, isn't it? Yes, uh, I think it might be the second show, but it's 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 right at the beginning of the of the little UK run. And will this be your first visit to Green Man Festival? Yes, I've never been to Green Man, but I've heard so many awesome things about it. A lot of friends have played. What what has made you sort of think that's that's the sort of place I want to go and play? You know, like a a um, a comfy, like nice environment. You know, I think the thing that appeals to me most about um, Green Man and other festivals is the the programming, the people who put together the lineups uh, of of festivals like Green Man or End of the Road. I feel like just choose really good bands. And that for me as an artist is my favorite part of playing a festival is, yeah, I'll play my set for whatever, 30 minutes and then going to see like four other bands that otherwise I wouldn't be able to, you know, see. Yeah, 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 that's it. Um, I mean, tell me a little bit about your, your yourself and your journey in music. You know, I, when I was like 12 years old my mom said I had to learn she said Christian I had to learn a musical instrument when I was a kid and I think that you it's you need to learn how to play pick of an instrument it could be flute or piano and I just kind of arbitrarily picked the guitar and uh fell in love with it it, it was I figured out how to play damn it by blink 182 on the guitar like the first day i got it and was like whoa you could just play a whole song yeah today with a guitar um i think that feeling that immediate to me made me keep chasing the uh you know how how did uh, your mum react to it not crazy about how into it i got as i immediately neglected everything else in my life and all of a sudden I went from being a straight A student to failing out of school so she's not crazy about it tell me a little bit about your albums I mean what was inspiring you to write the songs and and maybe put your own material out and be you as a solo artist but... I really when I started as a solo artist really wanted to figure myself out um, I spent I don't know five years just touring by myself all year i really wanted to psychologically like figure out what was wrong with me and how to get better and how to fix you know i don't know i was just interested in exploring that through um writing about my parents writing about my relationships like how i behave in relationships how other people behave in relationships, what, how I react to things. Um, those were the interesting things for me. And spending a lot of time just alone on tours, I think really useful to that. Um, yeah, mission. Yeah. In the, in the last album, Quitters, you obviously wrote a lot of that during lockdown, didn't you? How difficult was that for you? Or was it, or was it quite easy just to have that time to sit down and write? It was incredibly difficult uh because it felt like in that time there everyone had a lot more time to work there's pressure to feel like you should be doing something with your covid time or something do you do you know what i mean like yeah i do pick up new skills and learn things so it made it feel it was a lot harder to get things out than in the past where i i would write on tour a lot um before a lot of beginners was written in, in like cars and planes and stuff like that so mm. um more difficult to be feel like you have to mm. drag people out of this awful time the beginners was possibly a bit about more your adolescence years 
and your more recent album is perhaps more in the world of adulthood. Um, with, with Quitters, I believe it's called, isn't it? Yeah. I think that that's true. I mean, there's some stuff about whatever your adulthood is also about your childhood too. Mm, very much whatever, so. Up there that you carry them into being an adult. So there's, there are some connections, I think, on Quitters that are about, you know, then and, and now. Um, yeah, Quitters is, is about uh learning to let go of things that aren't working and that being uh okay and being a, a new starting point that moves the you know the the finish line becomes the you know starting point there's one one track. It describes you being you were diagnosed with OCD. I understand. So you you, you know your 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 battle with that perhaps. I mean, is 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 that something which which has come out a lot in your in your music in recent times? Just that song really specifically was helpful to me. I had a therapist that recommended I like um, think about OCD as something separate from myself and write about my thoughts. Mm. Um, yeah, type of OCD that I have is there's no, the compulsion is obsessive thinking. Yeah. So they recommended that I create a character that uh, where the OCD and the thought was separate from Christian. Yeah. Uh, and it was really fun and therapeutic to get to write and be like, oh, this outside thing is so funny and ridiculous. The thoughts mm. that have that, mm. that, um, that are on a loop in your brain. Um, and it helps me, I don't know, feel like that wasn't me. Yeah. 